This ship doesn't run on oil or on hydrogen, but on ammonia. It's a compound probably best known for its use in fertilizers, but it has also been used as transport fuel in the past. Its advantage? It doesn't release carbon emissions. As transport fuel, ammonia reacts with oxygen, and the reaction produces water and nitrogen gas. Reducing carbon emissions is a priority for the shipping sector, especially after the International Maritime Organization approved a global carbon pricing system. From 2028, all ships will be required to use a less carbon-intensive fuel mix or face financial penalties. The IMO that regulates international shipping wants to reach net-zero greenhouse gas emissions by or close to 2050. In 2020, international shipping accounted for approximately 2% of global CO2 emissions. Running ships with ammonia could help reduce that number, but only if it's produced with renewable energy. Ammonia requires vast amounts of power to produce, which would offset its carbon-free benefits if made using power generated by oil and gas. And there's another catch. Ammonia can be quite toxic. Any potential spillage could have dramatic consequences for humans and wildlife. It's toxic, it needs to be treated with absolute uh, respect, and so you've got to get it right. You don't want one of these vessels crashing into a port or another vessel. Uh, so safety is absolutely uh, crucial. Uh, for it. So, there is still a long voyage ahead before ammonia can anchor itself in the shipping industry. But the owners of the ammonium ship want to show that it could make the sector eco-friendlier. They hope to reach Brazil in time for the climate conference COP30 later this year.